Oh, sir, how are you? I'm pretty good, boss. Pretty good, man. How you about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. It's nice to meet you. You told me your name is Sal. You told me you've been cutting hair for how long? Since 2012. 2012, bro. Like, that's yes, an iconic time. Like, remember when they said the world was going to end in 2012? <laughs> yeah. You were like, yo, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out doing what I'm interested in doing, right? Yes, sir. So that's, that's Absolutely. persistently excellent. So that's cool. And um, tell me about like how it's been developing the skill of being able to cut hair. Like, tell me about the first haircut to your last haircut. Like, what did you learn oh, man. during that journey? I, I learned how to cut hair incarcerated. Wow, see that's deep, bro. Yeah, tell me so more. Tell my, me more. My first haircut was actually a bald head. Right. So that's how I learned how to start. Excellent. To use the, the, Two, the clippers, right, right, right. The trimmers I use a, a ball head was my first haircut. So you didn't even start with your own head. You started. No, no, off, wow, that's interesting. Else. See, yeah. I've been cutting my own hair. I didn't even think about venturing onto somebody else's head. Like, yeah. how did you have that confidence to be like, yo, I ain't cut a head before, but I'm gonna cut yours for the first time? Man, I don't even know. It just happened, man. Interesting. <laughs> and how did how, how the happened. haircut turn out? Oh, the ball head. It turned out simple. It was fine, you know. He right, right, it. right. And we just went off from there, and then I learned how to use all the different tools, and yeah. you know, learn the tricks of the trade. And every day you learn a different skill, you know, or right. how to do something different, how right, to right, right. different tools, you know. Right. Yeah, it's pretty simple, man. Yo, bro, check it out. Like one of my last interviews was with a gentleman who was also in course incarcerated for like 23 years, bro. And he told me he had learned how to make like a tattoo gun, bro, out of like a radio. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And it, it blew my mind that he could do that. And yeah. so, like, did you have to make any tools yourself? Like, while no, you... no, I actually went to barber school. They had they barber, barber school there. School, yeah, That's so. excellent. But see, yeah, it shows you that just because you're in such a location, you don't have to be a product of your environment. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Yes, sir. Right, right, right. Yeah. Any um, encouraging words for those who... Man, listen, man. I, I was locked up for 16 and a half years. Long time. I've been home for three years now. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoa. On my own barbershop now. That's amazing, bro. You know, I never thought so such things were possible, that, bro. So it's interesting. Possible, man. Anything, Positive anything things you are put possible. Your mind and your heart too. Yeah. You know, it, it could happen, man. So while you were in prison, did you build the business plan? Did you make the connections, or actually, is... I, I actually, you know, I got my license. I came home, got my manager license. It's mm -hmm. not something I thought of. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my own barbershop one day. I mm -hmm. actually didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, so being home, I worked like three four different barber shops mm -hmm. and you know i just got tired of working for people and was like you know what i'm, I'm gonna work for my own shop excellent it just happened beautiful bro you know? beautiful i appreciate you sir. absolutely thank you man yeah so that was an excellent interview all right, all right.